So today um, I'm just doing a little vlog because um, this will be my second video in my Christmas countdown on my second channel. And so this is bothering me. OCD. Okay. Um, but yeah, sorry I haven't been posting on this channel. I haven't had a lot to post about yet, considering that we haven't set up our Christmas tree or we haven't really done anything too Christmassy yet. Um, but yeah, I've just done a lot of things on my first channel. But don't worry because there will be like videos like overwhelming you guys in a while. So yeah. But I just thought I would just kind of do a little vlog because today we did some pretty wintry Christmassy stuff. Um, yeah. So, I'll just tell you the story. So, um, first off, I have my hot chocolate here and I put colorful marshmallows on it because I just think it would be good. And it's actually salted caramel hot chocolate because that's like my new obsession. And it's really good. So, yes, that's what I'm drinking. Um, but anyways, so... Um, last year we got a snowmobile and it was a piece of junk like it broke down like the first time we tried to use it So it was like really disappointing and we couldn't use it at all like Throughout the entire winter and it was just really sad because we get lots of snow where I live like too much snow So um, yeah, it's kind of like hard to live without a snowmobile, but we had to for that winter So then we got a quad that summer um, well, like this summer that has four-wheel drive and like everything, like it can trudge through mud and not get stuck and it can go through everything. So we took it out today and we, um, we have this long rope with a little pole thing at the end of it. Like, I don't know, I don't have a reference here, but it's like, it's just a pole and then there's the rope tied around it and then, you know, and then that hooks up to the end of our quad and then we rip around in that thing. Like there's no tomorrow. We, um... Like, it just has a stick, so the stick is, like, the handlebars, and you steer with that thing, and then you just sit on, like, a little sled or whatever, and then this quad will pull you, and then you just, like, rip around. It's so much fun. Like, we do it every year, and especially when we get family out um, to our place for Christmas, we get everyone, everyone goes on it, well, except for my grandparents, obviously, but everyone goes on it, and it's just so much fun. So, um, yeah. So, we went out there today, and my dad, um, yeah, no. Never mind. So, yeah, my dad took us out, me and my brother, out there today, and our, like, our, uh, just, it was really hard to go around. Um, there wasn't a lot of snow in some places, so then we had to go to the back of our yard, and where the snow was thicker, like, a lot thicker, so that it was easier to go around, but our sled was just a piece of crap, because it's, like, a really big, huge, like, saucer, and it's black, and it's, like, really rough on the bottom, and it's, like, plastic, and it's really big and bulky, and, like, hurts your knees and stuff when you sit on it and everything, so it's just a, like, Oh, I don't like it. So we put that one away and then we found this tiny, 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 it's like this big of a little pink saucer in the back of our um, shed. And I was like, yes, this thing is awesome because I, I was the first one I tried it to be my brother. And it's so like smooth on the bottom and on the top too. Like it just glides around and I didn't fall off once with that thing. One time I got, there was a bump, like it was like this and then went like that and my dad drove over it and then I went, wee, and I got like air. Then I fell off obviously, but that wasn't my fault. That was my dad's fault. So, um, yeah, but it was really fun. But then... And we live right next to a field, so it was really, really awesome because then it was just, there wasn't enough room to rip around out there with just going in the back of our yard. So we went on in our field, and we were just tearing it up out there. <laughs> like, it was so ridiculous because we get, like, a hundred acres of just, like, go hard, go, sn like, it was really fun. So, yeah, and now I'm really cold. So I came in, and I made some hot chocolate, and I put on these leggings. Um, yeah, they're really, really comfortable. I'll talk about them in a minute. But, yeah, it was just so much fun. And yeah, it was so much fun. It was, I just love going snowmobiling and stuff in the winter time. So, uh, yeah, now I'm going to talk to you guys about my leggings. So I got, hang on, I need a, need a little drink. Oh, it's so good. Okay, so I got these leggings from Garage last weekend, and you guys would have saw them if you are subscribed to my first channel. You would have saw them in my haul from Garage. And these, I got two pairs of black leggings and they were twelve dollars I was like yes it's like twenty bucks for two pairs of leggings which is not that bad at all so um yeah I got two pairs of leggings and I am in love with them they are like here I'll show you guys what they look like they're just black like this and I'm wearing them with a long shirt 
and long cardigan but they are so comfortable like so so comfortable they are like really really soft and re super stretchy and I was I thought they were gonna be too big like they look way too big um when I bought them but they're surprisingly not they they fit really really good and they're very very comfortable um so yeah and I had to order more pairs so I, I went online and I ordered uh two more pairs I ordered a navy blue one I think is what I got it's like not the color of this it's I don't know I don't have a reference either um I don't know. It was just a navy blue color. And then I ordered a Christmassy kind of Aztec um, color. And it looks really, really pretty. So I'm so excited for those. Because I love the garage leggings. They're so comfortable. Yeah, they're really comfortable. So, yeah. Just thought I'd let you guys in on that. And sorry, but I have, like, really bad lighting right now. Because it's getting dark out. It's, um, 6 o'clock. Which means that it gets, like, really dark out earlier. So, yeah, I have my lamp on my chair in front of my camera because I'm sitting on the floor right now. So, yeah. Mmm, that's so good. Um, if you guys want to know how to make salted caramel hot chocolate, I actually got this idea from Mac Barbie 07 and you guys should definitely go subscribe to her if you're not already. She has really, really good videos and stuff like that and she did this on her vlog channel, Bethany's Life, and... I love it. It's my addiction, and I, yeah, I really like it. And I also like her white peppermint mocha and her peppermint hot chocolate videos because, yeah, I make those all the time too. But I just felt the need for caramel because I had a craving for it, so I made this. This is more of a fall drink, even though it's basically like Christmas time where I live because it is like so snowy. Oh, it's probably snowing right now. I can't really see, but yeah okay and also another thing that i have to say i know you guys are waiting for my room tour because it's probably my most requested video right now is my room tour and don't you worry my room tour will be up like right after christmas probably the week that i get back to school and i get back to school i think january 7th so it'll be up that week but i'm hoping i my mom said that she is going to get me a chair for christmas because she told me that already so i'm gonna get a chair and they're called um I can't remember what they're called. It starts with a P. But they look like a big bowl. It's not like a beanbag chair. It's on like a pedestal thing. But it's a big, huge bowl and there's a cushion in it. So that's going to go where I have my painting stuff. Because I don't like it. Like, I have a paint easel and a whole bunch of painting things. And I don't like them set up in my room. I'm going to take them down and then pull it back up when I want to use it. Which I think would be a lot better. Because then I can put a chair there so I can read and stuff. And I'm going to put, like, a little table and everything. And I'm, I'm also getting... If you see right... Um, above me because like here's my bed if you see there's like a little green thing there that's a painting that me and my friend made um, I'm actually going to put these things that are called twinkle lights and um, I, I actually got this idea on Pinterest if you guys haven't checked out my Pinterest please do because it is awesome I love Pinterest so much um, but yeah I, they're called twinkle lights and you can put them in your windows too but I already have blinds and my mom won't let me take them down so I'm going to put it as use it as a headboard so basically what you do is you hang a curtain rod um, like like an inch away from your ceiling and then you just put these sheer white curtains or really like it's, as long as they're sheer it's good and you put those on and then you wrap Christmas lights that like white Christmas lights or colorful doesn't matter that hang down like there's just different strands of Christmas lights that hang down and then you wrap them around the curtain rod with the curtain and then it's like sparkly curtains it's so cool and i can't wait to put it up so yeah i'll link the um link down below for my pinterest and for the pinterest link that i have for it because i have it pinned on my um i want to know i need board because that's like the greatest board in the world i'm obsessed with pinterest like no joke i have 37 boards i think and I have like almost 2,000 pins, which is amazing. And I almost have 2,000 likes as well. But my fashion board, the majority of it goes in my fashion board. I have, think I have like 600 pins in there, which is ridiculous. That is too many pins for one board, but whatever. I was going to go through it, but I would, then I was like, no. There's like 600 pins that I would have to go through, and I'm not going to do that. So, yeah. I love this hot chocolate. Oh, and also, if you guys are wondering what caribou coffee is, um... And Amy's Blend. It's a coffee shop in Minnesota. It's probably, 
I don't know, in different places too. I'm not really sure. But my mom went to Minnesota a couple years ago and she got a whole bunch of stuff from there. So she got uh, two of these pink mugs, which I love because they're really tall and they fit a lot of hot chocolate in it. Or coffee, whichever you drink. Um, I don't drink coffee because I don't really like it. I only like um, white peppermint mochas from Starbucks because they're really good. And then I learned how to make my own, which is even better. But anyways, um... Yeah, um, they, my mom bought home two mugs, these pink ones, and then she got home a travel mug that is blue, I think, maybe brown, can't remember. Um, but then she also brought home some coffee and hot chocolate from them, and they have really good coffee and stuff here. Like, it's so good. Um, I wouldn't necessarily say it's as good as Starbucks or anything, but yeah, it's pretty good, and I really love these mugs, so yeah. Colorful marshmallows. Okay, you guys, well, that's all I'm going to vlog about today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and yes, I will see you next time. Bye!